To help with those searches, you've got this question mark here. And if I hover over it, it says search help. If I click there, there's a whole load of information about how to search the database. Down here, there's a whole load of advice about how you can search um, the database most successfully. One that I use quite a lot is this one. It's called proximity searches. If I click there on proximity searches, it shows you such a thing as a near operator. If you want to find one word near to another word, i.e. when they're relating to each other, so that not that they're in completely different paragraphs, but maybe they'll be in the same sentence or something like that, you can use this near operator. That's one that's it's, it's often a very useful thing to do um, when especially you're getting maybe lots and lots of results and you want to narrow it down. But there's lots of other search tips in here. There are wildcards, for example, in America they spell colour without a U. In the UK we spell it with a U. If you put that hash in there it will allow for either of those spellings. Um, it's a useful thing. And the truncation tool, compute with an asterisk on the end, will bring back all the words that begin compute irrespective of how they end. So that will include computer, it will include computing, it will include computes, um, so it's often a useful thing to do to search for. Another way you could search for in the database is to search for all of those words with ors in between them, but this is just a quicker way of doing it. Um, so be aware there are lots of um, tips down here for searching the database and as I say it's a, a much more advanced database for searching than Google is and therefore you can narrow down your results from high numbers down to really small pertinent set of results.